Welcome to the very first video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore 20th Anniversary Edition. We're going to start a brand new character over here. And we're going to play a troll shaman. No, no, we'll play, we'll play an orc shaman. Yes, what is this old face, eh? What the heck? Come on, why no hair? Give me some hair. Why is it gray? There we go. <clears throat> uh, let's make this... Let's play mast. No, no, decline, decline. So found, enabled. Because I'm a boss. And there we go. Shaman, level one. Let's do this. Please leave a like if you do enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's play. Long ago, the Orcish Horde was corrupted by the Burning Legion and lured to the world of Azeroth. For generations, the Orcs made war upon the human kingdoms of Stormwind and Lordaeron. Though the Horde was ultimately defeated, a visionary young warchief named Thrall rose to lead his people in their darkest hour. Under Thrall's rule, the Orcs freed themselves from the chains of demonic corruption and embraced their shamanistic heritage. After years of wandering, the Orcs founded their own kingdom in the harsh wastelands of Durotar. Based in the warrior city of Orgrimmar, they stand ready to destroy all who would challenge their supremacy. As a proud defender of Durotar, it is your duty to crush your enemies, both seen and unseen. For the nefarious agents of the Burning Legion still wander the land. Goodness, dude, so many people still. Okay, selecting a survival guide. Enable dungeons. Hostile enemy warding. Submit. We want to do all dungeons. And let's do it. Finally, you are of age adventurer, of age to battle in the name of the Horde, to conquer for the glory of the War Chief. Yes, you will do nicely. No doubt you wish to find a great dragon or demon and strangle it with your bare hands, but perhaps it would be wise to start on something less dangerous. Report to Garnek. He should be able to assign a task better suited to a young adventurer. You will find Garnek in the den to the west. I can't move. What the heck? Thank you, buddy. Uh, options. Auto loot. By the way, Shamans is the easiest to get to level 10. Not just the easiest, they're also the fastest leveling class for level 10. But they fall off really, really hard. When do we get our interrupt at level 4? I thought I would die out here with none to know of it. While I was hunting the scorpids of the valley, I came across a particularly vicious looking one. Hurling myself at it, I managed to inflict a massive blow to its claw before it closed around my leg. I wasn't ready for its stinger though, and it sliced down and into my chest, cutting into my flesh and letting my blood. Please, you must kill the scorpid for me. My honor must be up there. I fought it up on the plateau to the south. 
Uh, let me just add this. Quick bind and heal. Resist. We need the earth, uh, earth weapon as soon as we can. My blow was not enough to kill him. But looking at the damage I inflicted gives me some small measure of pride. That small measure will be all I have to sustain myself if I die. And in that light, the short list of my life's accomplishments fills me with anger. Seeing the deed you have done for me steals my heart. I cannot fall so easily. I must endure. But it remains that I cannot make the trek back to the den unassisted. Please, adventurer, return to the den and tell Gornek of my situation. Perhaps he can help me. You better help me, okay? What can I help you with? Go with honor. Okay, turn the quest. The Valley of Trials will temper even the weakest into a warrior worthy to join the Horde. Those who cannot rise to its test will be left to bake in the scorching desert sun. Another one of Kaltunk's recruits, hmm? A sorry state of affairs we find ourselves in if this is the best the Horde can produce. No matter. By the time we think you're ready to leave the Valley, you'll be a proud adventurer of the Horde. The first order of business will be to put a little strength in your backbone. I could send you out to the Barrens to hunt Kodo, but well, in all honesty, you're more useful to us alive than dead. I believe you would find a good match with the mottled boars you'll find to the north of here. From your description of the beast, I believe you must be speaking of Sarkoth. It is no wonder that Hanazua was overtaken by it. Aid will be dispatched to him immediately. Trouble yourself no more with Hanazua's plight. However, I must say, I am most impressed to hear that you brought Sarkoth to death. It is a feat to be proud of, adventurer. And that you would fight for a stranger's honor while other tasks occupied your time, your own honor is heightened. We got a new back. Two damage stuns. Got new boots there, I'm sure. Next thing we need to talk about is professions. What professions are we going for? Is this going to be an alchemy character? Honestly, I think so.
By the way, shamans is the least most played class. In in WoW. At least WoW classic hardcore. to my loot. So yeah, at level 4 we upgrade a lot our damage. Holy. Now I gotta farm to a certain level. Farm 1,120 XP. And this is actually the better thing to farm because it's level 4. That guy needs it. Stop hurting me. No bag yet, unfortunately. But hopefully soon. Kill them, Scorpions! 
You can see my damage fall off so much if the weapon is not boosted by the shaman. And Rockbiter is pretty bad though. Like Wind Fury is where the money is at, but I think... I think he'll do more DPS. If he didn't have Wind Fury. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Because no, Wind Fury has a pretty low percentage. Looks like everyone and their brother wants to farm you now. Okay, we're done farming. We. Loped. Hmm. Not bad, adventurer. But don't let it get to your head. You'll fight tougher than boars in your career. Nonetheless, you've proven yourself well, and your next trial will be against a considerably more dangerous opponent. So you'll need some extra protection. Ah, while you were gone, a parchment came for you, adventurer. Read it when you have time. If I'm not mistaken, it came from the shaman trainer Shikrik. She would have words with you when you're ready. Powerful warrior and awkward novice alike have fallen to the venomous sting of the scorpid. You will find large numbers of scorpids northwest of here. Bring me eight of their tails as proof of your prowess in battle. The antidote for their sting is actually made from venom extracted from their stingers. We keep large quantities of antidote for scorpid venom on hand to heal young bloods just like you. But I'm sure you won't be needing any of that, will you? It sure gets hot out here in the Valley of Trials. If only I had some cactus apples, I could make my famous cactus apple surprise. Nothing cools you off faster than a piece of that delicious treat. I'll tell you what, adventurer. If you bring me ten cactus apples... I'll make you a few portions of Cactus Apple Surprise to take with you on your adventures. If you're interested, you can find Cactus Apples growing near the cactus plants around here. You will be the conduit in which our ancestors communicate. You will have the power of the elements at your beck and call. Sundering your enemies will be child's play, healing your allies as easy as breathing. Keep these things in mind as you face new challenges, and come back to me as often as you'd like. I will remain here to teach you new spells and set you on the correct path when you are ready. The time is now, young adventurer. You've grown strong and your spirit endures like the earth. Following the shaman's path shows you have wisdom before even proving yourself. The element of earth will guide your destiny, becoming part of you if you are ready. But you must stand before the earth itself. If you are ready, then you will see things only shaman know of. Seek out the fell stalkers to the north and take from them two of their hooves. Return to me then, and we shall speak more of your future. I trust the Valley of Trials will teach you much, young adventurer. I was sent to the valley to guide you, but I have discovered a growing taint here. A group that calls itself the Burning Blade has a coven here in the Valley of Trials. They are skulking in a cave to the northeast, and their vile familiars have spilled from its mouth to cause havoc. As your first task against the Burning Blade, I bid you defeat these familiars. Slay many, and if you survive, return to me. Cursed peons. They work hard gathering lumber from the trees of the valley, but they're always taking naps. I need someone to help keep the peons in line. You look like the right person for my task. Here, you take this blackjack and use it on any lazy peons you find sleeping on the job. A good smack will get them right back to work. Return the blackjack when you're done. Lousy slacking peons. Lousy slacking peons.
But you can just see like how fast we're killing, dude. It's absolutely ridiculous. Shaman's the strongest one to ten. Okay, it's one up there. Gonna be five out of ten now. Stop killing my boars, my brie. What the heck? the apples so many people in the starting zone dude it's not even a joke Okay, it's gonna sleep now. Got him. Thank you, buddy. Something need doing? I can do that. Something need doing? So that's why Shamans is one of the fastest to level. It's because of the tagging. You have insta tags. So what are we doing? Just really unfortunate.
Is he walking back? What? Be busy. This one's sleeping. Is he still not walking back? Nope. Uh, we're done with it anyway. So the next best thing is to go into the cave a little bit. Don't have to be inside here just yet. So down with the apples also. I tagged it first. You see, this is what I'm saying. This is why shamans level up faster. It's too far. Oh, I got him. Thank you, buddy. I'll take that extra hit. So many people here, dude. Uh, 
Uh, we're done. So now we have worker tail scorpions. So we'll run this way. But no one wants to kill it now. Lucky with bags so far. So I, I think we can go up here where we farmed earlier. Farm the scorpions here. Thing. What can I help you with? Looked wonderful, adventurer. As promised, here is your cactus apple surprise, plus a little something extra. May your blades never help. I don't need refreshing water, bro. The Valley of Trials will temper even the weakest into a warrior worthy to join the Horde. Those who cannot rise to its tests will be left to bake in the scorching desert sun. There is an important lesson that you must take away from fighting Scorpids. The smallest or largest of opponents can still send you to your doom. In fierce combat, any number of things can prove your downfall. I have no more to teach you, adventurer. You have done well and I will watch your progress with interest. Excellent. Your success shows that you are prepared. Of all the elements, Earth represents the foundation of all things. It is your strength, your stamina, and your patience. Earth will protect you, but only if shown the proper respect. Like the other elements, even Earth can be fickle. Earth is the basis for life, and by observing its laws, you will gain greater wisdom. Never forget the secrets Earth shares with you. I shall make a scepter for you now. And by accepting it, you will realize your path. A scepter is a drink created to bind our spirits to the elements. Fused with magic, the potion will allow the strong will to see the elements as no one else can. Your spirit will be connected to the element the scepter was created for, and only a select few shaman know the recipe. The scepter is always drunk in a holy place and never anywhere else, remember that. Seek out spirit rock southwest of here. It is found at the end of the hidden path. Drink your scepter there and... Well, you shall see. You have done well, adventurer. Although the vile familiars were merely pets of the darker powers within the Burning Blade, your success against them foretells greater deeds ahead. 
Through my divinations, I see that an item of power hides deep within the Burning Blade Coven, guarded by beasts and black magic. It is called the Burning Blade Medallion, and your next task is to find it and remove it from the coven. But be wary, for the medallion may be possessed by an agent of the Burning Blade. And if so, then the agent's power would be greater than the familiars you have already encountered. Go, adventurer. You will find the coven in a cave to the north and west. Good, good. Maybe they'll think twice before slacking next time. Thanks for the help. Adventurer, you are a dependable person. Can I count on you for another task? Some time ago, I was surveying the cave to the north for minerals, and I left my favorite pick behind. When I later returned to retrieve it, I found the cave was filled with vicious beasts. Will you go into the cave, the Burning Blade Coven, and get my pick? I left it in a chamber with waterfalls. My pick has a spell on it so you can see it in the dark, so you won't have to worry about finding it. Just what's guarding it. Grab the pick. You see how fast shamans can level it. They are the fastest to level ten, by far. This it's not even close. And then I think the second fastest to ten is um, is a warlock. And the third fastest is a paladin. I I think that is... And the warlock is only fast if you can get a wand at level 4. Okay, this might take a minute. Okay, it's been like two minutes. Thank you, come again. in the Valley of Trials, but I fear they have further aims in our land. We have not seen the end of them. Your trials against the Burning Blade are finished here in the Valley, but I want you to report your findings. Go to the troll village of Senjin and seek out Master Gadrin. Senjin village is east out of the Valley, then right at the Fork. Tell Gadrin of the Burning Blade and that they have reached the Valley of Trials. Discover from him if they have yet reached Senjin. Go, adventurer, and be swift. I fear the evil found in the Burning Blade Coven is but the herald of a larger threat. A Sapta is a drink created to bind our spirits to the elements. Fused with magic, the potion will allow the strong-willed to see the elements as no one else can. Your spirit will be connected to the element the Sapta was created for, and only a select few shaman know the recipe. The Sapta is always drunk in a holy place and never anywhere else, remember that. Seek out Spirit Rock southwest of here. It is found at the end of the hidden path. Drink your Sapta there and, well, you shall see. This guy is also using Rested XP. 
Maybe not because it's level five. I think you're gonna, go, you're gonna get rewarded a totem for doing this. Excellent. The totem I will craft for you is more than a symbol of your status among adventurer. It has abilities beyond that. One use of the totem is as a focus for spells. Those spells are tied to the earth, and as you earn greater and greater wisdom, more of the earth's abilities will be made accessible to you. The trainers will know when you are ready for greater knowledge. But for now, take this earth totem and a scroll to teach you your first ability. Great, you got it. Thanks a lot, adventurer. This is my favorite pick. Now if my peons ever finish chopping down these trees, maybe we can find a nice cave to mine. Okay, so we got the earth totem now. That means we can use earth totems. So now we can use the stone skin totem, which gives you more armor. It's pretty bad, by the way. It's not worth spending mana on. Might be okay using it in dungeons if your tank is squish. Excuse me, can you help me? I have a load of food here. I walked along the road and braved scorpids and spiders and worse. I brought the food to the Valley of Trials because I thought they needed it and I like to help out. But they don't need any food. Now I have to take it back to Razor Hill. And I'm afraid of all the beasts along the way. Can you take it for me? I'm just a peon, but you're a hero. You fear nothing. Take it to Innkeeper Grosk at the Razor Hill Inn. Thank you. Lower your voice, adventurer. The Kolkar centaurs lie just over the ridge to the west in Kolkar Crag. Last night while they were raiding, I snuck into their village and discovered that the dirty beasts have a three-tiered attack planned on the trolls and orcs of Durotar. We mustn't let their invasion come to fruition. Perhaps you can muster the might needed to infiltrate Kolkar Crag and destroy their attack plans. Last I saw... They had divided them up amongst three of their leaders. Many of the hides we use come from Duratar Tigers. Adventurer, blankets, armor, tents. There are a great many reasons we hunt the beasts, and many reasons we let them thrive at the same time. The time has come for us to cull the flock, so to speak. Our numbers grow, and our needs are beginning to overwhelm our stocks. I need more hides if I'm to prepare suitable goods for our people. Bring me four Duratar tiger furs, and I shall reward you. You can find them on the islands south of here. Although my eyes fail me, I still can see clearly enough. More often I must rely on my alchemical skills to aid me in magics that once came easily. But I refuse to take on an apprentice. No troll or orc worthy enough has ever come forward. Are you worthy? Yes, of course you are. Of course you think you are. I need a few things. Will you get them for me? I need intact Makrura eyes and vials of Crawler mucus. You can find them on any Makrura or Crawler in Durotar. We shall speak again soon. Hmm. Your report comes at a bad time. The Burning Blade is not seen here in Senjin, but their evil has taken seed off the coast on the Echo Isles. The Orcs are friends of the Darkspear Trolls. Honorable friends. 
We want to help the orcs, but we need help too. I hear the voice of my brother Minshina calling to me in my dreams. He was taken by Zalazane, the warlock on the Echo Isles to the east, and he is dead. But death is not freedom for my brother. Minshina's spirit was trapped within his own skull by Zalazane's magics. In my dreams, I see it with other skulls, in a circle of power on the largest Echo Isle. As long as it remains there, my brother's soul is doomed. Please, adventurer, find the circle and retrieve Minshina's skull. Bring it to me. Free him. The witch doctor Zalazane dwells on the Echo Isles to the east. They are the isles we once called home. From there he sends his trolls to the mainland to hex our people and drag more of them under his sway. He must be stopped. Defeat Zalazane and his minions, former Darkspear trolls now lost to us. Bring me his head and I will know his reign of evil is over. We at Senjin Village are not without our own troubles and we thank you for your aid. But the news you bring regarding the Burning Blade could be trouble for everyone. There is an orc stationed at Razor Hill, Orgnal Soulscar, who polices Duratar from evils such as the Burning Blade. Go to Orgnil and tell him of our plight, as well as your news from the Valley of Trials. He will want to know these things. Razor Hill lies to the north. Running away in fear. If you want to speed run this, you normally stay in one hand weapon, if I'm not mistaken. If I remember correctly. Uh, just because your highest damage dealing right now is the Earth Bite weapon. Um, and it, it, it does more damage the more time you swing, it, swing the weapon. I did a min-max run like years and years ago. There was a tournament when Classic WoW came out that I took part in. I came second in the tournament. It was about 50 people that took part in it though. It was a... Who can get the highest level in two hours tournament. I came second. And the guy who played, uh, who came first, he also played a shaman. The guy who was third was a warlock. I think everyone else was warlocks, dude. But yeah, you did death skips, you did uh, so many logout skips. All of this worked back then.
And warlocks can only be fast if, if you can buy a star uh, a one, sorry, at level four. Uh, with two different logout skips. Two different logout skips you get to uh, Orgrimmar. They're looking for it. Little do they know, it's outside. They didn't see a thing. At level 8, we get our Earth Shield. Oh, sorry, our Lightning Shield. Rock Bite at level 2. So level 8 is a pretty big spike in, in DPS. Might as well run back to the camp via the shore. Why is this thing beating me, like, so hard? It was level 7, maybe that's why. Uh, we're 6. Uh, also, the reason why shamans are so good is because on the island over here, they should be the only class with a kick, and they will cast heal. And your kick is your highest damage as well, which is kind of kind of weird. Also need to get a weak aura for my weapon. Yeah, if you go to the auction house and you can't afford a wand during that tournament, you would have been screwed. The Horde would surely prevail if the Kolkar Centaurs were to attack, but by preventing such an attack we have spared our mighty warriors unnecessary bloodshed. And as sure as there is sand in the Tanaris Desert, we know that there will be blood spilled before these trying times are through. You have served your people well, adventurer. Talk to me. I don't sell that. Later. Who you be? Spirits hmm? be with 
Yeah, buy the stick. What you want? Stay away from the voodoo. Hello, man. Be seeing ya. So we got a new staff weapon. Oof, big crud. Another planty. We shouldn't skip borrows. Oh, they're actually the stingers. They will be meat, which we'll need for cooking. Goodness, dude. Are you kidding me, bro? Can you place? Just get spanked. There's a plant here.
farming a decent amount of meat, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Led by Admiral Proudmoore, the humans of Kul Tiras encroached on Duratar, violating the War Chief's Pact made with Jaina Proudmoore in order to defeat Archimonde years ago. The human aggression was repelled and Tiragard Keep fell, but recently the Admiral's reserves, led by Lieutenant Benedict, have retaken the Keep and once again pose a threat to our homeland. These humans show no respect for diplomacy. Prove your honor and travel south to Tiragard Keep to eliminate the human invaders. Yes? You have something to report? Well then, let's have it. We cannot allow the Burning Blade a foothold in Duratar. We must destroy them before their evil festers. I have undergone my own investigations and found that a Burning Blade warlock, the Goblin Fizzle Darkstorm, has camped within Thunder Ridge to the northwest. There he and his cultist minions spread chaos. Find and defeat Fizzle and bring me his dead claw. I almost forgot I need to get breakfast ready. Adventurer, get yourself moving and get me some tail asher eggs. I'll need at least three of them if I'm going to have enough for tomorrow's meal. The blood talon tail lashers can be fierce and protect their eggs to the death more often than not. They sometimes bury their eggs too deep in the earth to uncover safely. But if you head to the Echo Isles to the southeast of Senjin Village, you can usually find them all over those islands. Age has rendered me useless in battle. Now, I make myself useful in other ways. From this vantage point, I watch for invaders. As our strength here grows, I find myself blowing the signal horn less and less. To pass the time, I fashion goods to help younger, more able warriors defend our homeland. For you, I can fashion you a bag for your belongings. If such an item would be of use to you, bring me some canvas, a material common to the humans and centaurs. What? He wants us to go down there again? Wait, what? You do this first, dude. Now it shows here. I think you double blast them. I think that's the rotation.
Evade. Well, that sucks. It cost me mana. I have no idea how they want you to do this part solo. Go for it. YOLO. Excuse me. another pool. See, if it was only two, I would have killed, but like, there was how many, bro? Like, four? I actually killed him. That was the one-handed axe that dropped. And if I'm not mistaken, also... Um, you can't deal wield. Unfortunately. Oh shit. Hey. By the way, that shield bash is an interrupt. 
and that shield match happens while you're casting. Uh, I think that school gets silenced for 10 seconds. So it could be problematic if you're trying to heal yourself. Okay, it's only uh, these guys need to kill. We should run straight for that plant, actually. Stop spawning on me, my bri. Hello? Might actually be an upgrade. That bag is full. Last one. Planty here. I'm gonna take this stick and the spunky butt cheeks. I don't think I did this with a with a priest because of how much mana it costs to kill. I didn't have a wand early. Slap it like it's hard. Okay, we got 10 meats. Very good, very good.
And now I think we're going to get a four slot bag. Straight. Word of your bravery travels fast, adventurer. Tales of your victory at Tiragard Keep will be heralded in Orgrimmar. One of my most observant scouts brings back word that the wreckage of Proudmoor's fleet still remains off the coast of Duratar, just east of Tiragard Keep. It is no secret that the humans, in alliance with those foul little creatures known as gnomes, have an advanced knowledge of mechanics. We must have a complete understanding of all our potential enemies, and our people will benefit from this new knowledge as well. Swim through the wreckage, adventurer, and retrieve for me the tools of the Alliance. This does not bode well at all. You were wise to bring this information to my attention. Humans cannot be trusted. We fought alongside them with a weary heart, knowing they would betray us one day. Admiral Proudmoore's death was not enough to stop his legacy of deceit. The human scum had his plans well laid out before he ever met his demise. His reign won't even die with Benedict, it seems. Who knows how long it will be before the next waves of Proudmoor's men land upon our shores. We need to get these orders to Vol'jin in Orgrimmar immediately. He can be found in Thrall's chamber. When we arrived, the Razormane Quillbors possessed much of the land and proved a thorn in our sides. Through our efforts, we have driven out the largest part of their numbers, but still they remain well fortified in some areas. It has gone on long enough, however. For our own protection, we cannot allow the Razormane any hold in our lands. Their camps can be found to the west of here. Look for the brambles, and you will find them. Today we drive them from Duratar tomorrow, perhaps from all of Kalimdor. Bah! I almost forgot I need to get breakfast ready. Adventurer, get yourself moving and get me some tail asher eggs. I'll need at least three of them if I'm going to have enough for tomorrow's meal. The Blood Talon Tail Lashers can be fierce and protect their eggs to the death more often than not. They sometimes bury their eggs too deep in the earth to uncover safely. But if you head to the Echo Isles to the southeast of Senjin Village, you can usually find them all over those islands. Most excellent adventurer! Any good adventurer will surely find a use for this bag on the battlefield. I salute your vigor and willingness to die in the name of the Horde! Ah, this is the food Ukor brought to the Valley of Trials. Did they not need it? Well, I guess they like to starve you heroes in training. Build spirit, they say. Thank you for returning the food. I'll stick it back on the shelves. But here, let me offer you some refreshment first. And don't forget to rest here in the inn. You may be a brave adventurer ready to take on the world, but if your energy is sapped, you won't be doing yourself or the Horde much good. Zerking is not working. Maybe they changed it now to have a global. Rooktar for the Horde. Wouldn't be surprised if they did change it. Okay, whatever. Um, now we're gonna head to the docks here and we're gonna swim to the island. So far, so good, I would say. Especially on the herbalism side, right? Speaking of, this one here. You want to go out of your way to get them...
a naked level 9 orc. abilities pulls a lot of aggro so if you are in a dungeon and for some reason you're getting aggro the whole time off the tank it, that's why you shouldn't be using earth bind on your weapon and you shouldn't be using your your earth shock as well if you play season of discovery your earth shock is literally your taunt that's that's how much that's so how much aggro it it pulls Can't grab that yet. We should show it what level it requires. Doesn't say. You fucking retard. What the... Are you kidding me? Don't you think you're missing a bit much there?
No Earth, Earth Weapon 2 adds 58, so it's 9 more. I have to find a weak ore, just give me a second. I mean, this is the better one I can find right now. We keep failing. I don't see no eggs here. I guess we're just going across, I man. There's so many people here. Like that guy feels sorry for the dude he killed. Yeah, we have no weapon reminder, bro. There's eggs.
see no other class can do that. At this level. With any other class that heal would go through. I think rogues only get their kick at 6. No, no, at, at 10. Could have used the Torn Totem. And grab the egg. This guy doesn't have an imp yet. What the other guy is doing. I'm gonna just leave this group, dude. Uh, there's more plants down there. Oh. 
Dude, it feels like we have zero mana the whole time. Found eggs. Thanks. Do you need free spots? There's no egg here. I assume they want to kill this. Can't interrupt. Oh, I interrupted still. Just say this, I'm done. I'll just leave. Wait, what? This though, I'm gonna roll need on it. Holy shit, bro. I got eggs here. I feel like running straight to Ogremar and just go training Axis. That is a absurd good, a absurdly good axe for what level we are. It's two agility and two spirit.
Okay, so we're done with the crawlers as well. There is a body, bro. Someone died there. Twenty-four unbuffed. Let's see buffed. It was twenty-four buffed. It's so hard to see this eggs. Hey, we got one. We're done with the eggs. Very good. Now we just need three furs. Hmm? Interact. Tigers, I think, has to be on this island. Uh, Tigers is there also. No, no, no. Mine, dude. Uh, people are dicks to me. I'm sorry. someone for it then then I do it also nice that island. Can't believe he got an insane weapon already. Dude, that's ridiculous. And I left the party and then the roll came up, right? 
So the others didn't even see that. I need one tigers for a man. level are we? Level 8 still. Okay, Tiger's Fur is done. We need one more eye. And we're done. How fast was that, bro? Goodness. Could have gone faster, but I think. I think it was pretty fast. Zalazane gone, our tribe can again sleep in peace. Thank you, adventurer. The Darkspear tribe owes you much. If you suffer from an ailment, visit my assistant Bombay behind me. His voodoo is strong. Thank you, adventurer. You have saved Minshina. You have saved my brother's spirit from slavery. Well done, young one. Well done, indeed. Spirits be with you, man. Greetings, man. Spirits be with the man. Okay, level nine. Talk. I am pleased, adventurer. Because of your help, our people will be protected and not go cold as the seasons change. Thank you. Thanks, bro. But instead of helping me, you could have just given me a priest buff, dude. That would have been longer lasting, let's be honest. But it's okay. Dude, our weapon already crits 55. Imagine with this bad boy. After we train it, of course. And to train it will cost 10 silver, so there goes another bag dream.
But I'm fairly certain we can train uh, two-handed axes. Yeah, we can. We should be able to. In Ogremar. And you mainly want to use axes if possible. Because that's why I chose an orc. Oh, there's a planty. Ah, uh, we can't pick it up, can we? Nope, it's red. It's okay, we're farming that boar meat like crazy. These herbs are everywhere. These herbs that we can't use. I think, dude, there's six minutes left, and then it's two hours. It's like, I can do this quest, and it's probably on time as well, but... I think our highest priority right now would be to run to Ogremar And train the two-handed axe. And get cooking. There is 11 silver. Run. I feel like that will be the higher priority. Because the longer we linger to to actually train 200 axes, the, uh, the weaker the weapon will become once we put it on. What do you need? For the horde. What I also want is... What I also, also would like to get is um, a herbalism bag. I think it's a 20 slot bag, but you can only put herbs in it. Which is actually insane. I, I also think you can put your consumables inside that bag. It's not just physically plants, right? I think it's plants and potions. Mummy Milk Me. That's his name. Are you actually kidding me? Bro, goodness. I should have said my hearth at Razor Hill. Oh, it is. Perfect. Uh, just a fair warning, I've never leveled Herbalism. And I did only a little bit of engineering. My classic experience is actually very, fairly small. I never really played classic before. Like, I think I had a level 45 rogue. On classic. Um... 
like when Classic released. But the video stopped doing well, so I stopped playing the character. And then Hardcore came out. Played a bit of Hardcore, then Season of Discovery came out to play that. And then again, the videos didn't do well, so I stopped. So yeah, the series, like how far we go in the series is all up to you guys. It's it has, it has nothing to do with me. Whether you guys are interested in the content or not, you know, that at the end of the day, you decide whether we continue on with the series. So we do 9 damage without the earth weapon on it. That's a huge difference. And since we are an orc, we don't have to get the flight point to Orgrimmar. If you're a Torn, you don't have to get the flight point to Thunderbluff. You have that flight point. Your spawning city is... Your starting city is... Uh, already taken care of on the flight point. There's no Shadowfang keep group, goodness. Can Zamja help you, person? Good to meet ya. Okay, we got cooking. Troll hall. Strength. So we made an extra silver, so we made our money back by training cooking. I don't even know where the herbalist trainer is. Could be down there. What are you looking for? Which profession? Herbs. You need to speak to Jandy at her arboretum in the drag. There are some wooden steps behind Aserin's market in the Valley of Wisdom. Follow them to the upper level of the drag and you'll find her. So many fishers. I honestly don't think I have the money right now to train fishing. What do you here to learn how to wield a new weapon or just to waste my time? One-handed axis. Come get the voodoo. What? What do you need? Be careful. May your blades never die. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy? Huh? Go for. Here to learn how to wield a new weapon, or just to waste my time. So I pretty much ran here for free. Speak right with honor. Because you can only train 200 axes. Go forth to victory. At level 20. And by then I'll have a better axe. So that sucks. 
Oh man, I got a good weapon. I was like, yay, I win. Nope, not the case, buddy. Two-handed axes can only be used at level 20 for shamans. And you have to be in the enhancement tree to get it also. So now I just want a her bag. That might also be 10 silver. Oh, I, I think it might be upstairs. Yo, where's the, uh... So that was herbalism. What are you looking for? Which profession? Alchemy. Look for Yelmak's alchemy and potions. Find it in the middle of the drag, west of the huge tree. Wait, this is a tree? Speak. I'm busy, adventurer. Tell Wok to handle whatever it is. That young pup has been stewing all day long. He spends much more time like that and he's going to hurt something. All the bottles on this table are potions I brewed today, and they say a watched pot never boils. Ha! What are you looking for? Apparently empty vials. Oh, we're gonna have so much potions, dude. We're gonna be healing for days. stupid but I'll show them I'm gonna watch every pot I have and prove that they can all boil stuff anyway yeah I'm on a roll who's stupid now huh huh uh, huh <laughs> all right you guys we're gonna actually end the video over here we're gonna continue on from Razor Hill once we're uh, um, ready to continue on with part two hope you guys did enjoy if you did please make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.